Listen up, ladies. It's Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Danny Code, episode six. Right? Episode six. Episode six, we have Randy in the background. He's producing this episode. And when I say producing, he'll be reading the topics. So, welcome back. Episode six. Question one, cheating. I feel like we talked about this already, didn't we? Or maybe it's just like everything gets back and re like we always resort to cheating and I feel like maybe we've talked about this before. I feel like I did an episode with you where we talked about cheating. You did. Maybe you like this topic so much. Did we talk about cheating? We did. Are you sure? Yep. All right, what are you reading? Danny Code number six topics. Okay, skip cheating. We already talked about cheating. You cheating ass, lying ass, mother can get dumped. Today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, the day after that. I'm looking at your old ones. Can you guys hear my dog snoring or? <laughs> All right, number two, compliments. No, we already did this. Did we? Yeah, what are you looking at? This one. So then we're on seven. Maybe we haven't done six, but I'm so high right now that I feel like we've talked about, just do seven. I just feel like you talk about these specific. Things a lot, maybe a in lot. my story time. Yes, for sure. Um, playing. Playing sports. <laughs> playing sports. Um, yeah, not my thing. Um, I think if you can play sports, it's pretty cool. It's pretty sexy. You know, I did cheerleading until so me and Gabby flashed the football team and we got kicked off. But when I did cheerleading, like you didn't have to do cartwheels. You weren't required to do stunts. When you get to high school though, it's like a whole nother ball field. Is that how you say that? Field ball? A whole nother field? I don't know. You don't, you've never heard that saying before? A whole nother ball field? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It just sounded weird and then Yeah, to, but it sounds weird when you say it. And then you have to think it out. Yeah, but is that how you not say it? Or that is that how you say it? Is that how you not I just say, say it? another sport. I don't know. Um, I so my brother went to private school. My brother growing up was the MVP of every basketball team. We thought he was gonna make it to the NBA. He didn't. Um but my whole childhood was revolved around him playing sports and he went to a private school. So my parents said that we could go to the same private school as long as we did three sports. So me and Gabby signed up for track and field. That was a dub. Didn't make the cheerleading squad because you need to know how to do a double hand backflip twirl in the air type shit. Can't even do a cartwheel. That was a dub. And then we tried track and field. And Randy knows and everybody knows I don't run. If I was in a horror film, I'd be the first to die for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. You think I'd die first? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would die like second. Well, there's always one that does the things that you're like. I Don't feel like go the one that room. doesn't believe in the horror of the horror film dies first, and then it'll be the person that can't run. Like I believe in the shit. I'm like, no, guys, there's someone here. It's about to go down. You might make it to the end because the killer might be like this. Girl, uh, I don't even know what to do with it, so I'm gonna go on to the next. <laughs> but he might want to kill me because he doesn't know what to do with me. <laughs> Who knows? Randy would survive till the end, I feel. Oh, for sure. For sure. I think you actually might kill the mother. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Flirting. Flirting. Um, flirting is not like something I'm good at. I mean, it depends. Brandy's shaking his head. Uh, no. You've never even seen me in action. I know, but every time there's a cute guy and I'm like, look at that cute guy. Like, you don't even, like, he just freeze like a deer in headlights and you don't know what to do. <laughs> and then you'll tell me stuff and you're like, I saw this cute guy and I have no game. Like, I didn't know what to do. And I said, oh, like at thing. Earth Bar. I yeah. went to Earth Bar 
like maybe a week ago and me and Caesar are outside waiting for the smoothie to be ready and this guy who's like 6'5 at least in workout gear super cute gets out of his jeep your jeep but like like newer i feel in black and he's like playing with Caesar and having a full blown conversation with me and when i was leaving i was like feel free to follow my dog on instagram what <laughs> he's probably like this kooky la girl yeah so bye guy and Did i've gone i've gone to earth bar twice after that hoping he'd be there at the same time nope and I'm sure you got a follow and you thought it was him and... It wasn't. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> I checked for like three days. I'm like, he has to have forgotten it by now. <laughs> That's rough. Uh, so flirting's not my expertise. I mean, you know, one guy I met, I, was, I just walked right up to him and I said, you need to start paying attention to me. And he started paying attention to me. So it worked out, but then it didn't. And then after that, pretty much, I just haven't cared about, you know, finding someone. So I just, and now I've been out of the game for so long and I haven't had sex. I don't have sex often. So I'm just, the whole thing kind of freaks me out. So I'm just generally really bad with the, anything that has to do with love or sex. And I probably just see a therapist or go to like a coach, right? Yeah. Because then I'd be like killing it on these streets. I mean, playing sports wasn't love games a sport. <laughs> no. Then why do they call it Love Games? I don't know. F that show. It was well, the best paying show out of all the spinoffs, though. Basically, best. I mean, it hits every category in this topic. What? Cheating. There was a lot of cheating. On Love Games? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, complim compliments? Did we, or did we say compliments? You said that, but I feel like we've talked about that, but maybe we haven't talked about compliments. I mean, you definitely got compliments. I on Instagram. I love compliments on YouTube. Compliments in person sometimes make me uncomfortable. Like especially if it's just like someone's overly complimenting you. I'm Same. just like how many times can I say thank you? Sometimes I get awkward or embarrassed when someone compliments me. Yeah, it's not that you're not appreciative, you just don't know what to say. Mm -hmm, Cuz then you, they'll be like, "Oh, you're arrogant." Or yeah, or you're conceited, conceited or you don't appreciate. No, I appreciate it. I just I don't know how to act in this moment. It's all it's almost coincides with flirting. Yeah. Like, cause they're kind of flirting with you by complimenting you. And it's just like, I'm uncomfortable now. Yeah. Cause if I'm not trying to flirt with you and you're complimenting me, it's just like, how do I, like, how do I react to that? But if it's a female complimenting me, compliment me all day, baby girl. Doesn't mean I'm gonna compliment you back though. <laughs> My outfit's popping and you think it's cute. Don't mean I think yours is cute. Might say, hey, thanks girl. Thanks girl. But I might not, but I do be complimenting all the time on Instagram. I feel like there's no issue in showing love. Just show it back, you f***ing scallywaggy ass That's a wrap. No, we have to do four topics, we only did three. No, we did it. Uh, playing sports was four. So flirting, compliments, cheating. This is a whack category. Yeah, put a juicy, do, make up a juicy one. Off the top of your head, go. Oral. Hygiene. <laughs> yeah, we got two minutes. We gotta we gotta bust this out for two more minutes. Um, oral hygiene. I mean, oral. Oral. Do you put sex. anything in your mouth that will mess up your oral hygiene? One time, I gave this guy a head, and. You know, I was fine the next day, but the day after, the day after, so the day after, the day after giving him head, I thought I had strep throat. And this is right when super gonorrhea hit the market. And I was like, oh my God, I have super gonorrhea. I had to get popsicles from the store. I could, I could barely swallow anything, not even ramen noodles. And then it went away, so I started Googling. And just for all the females out there that just gave head this weekend and the same thing is about to happen to you, you can literally get dick bacteria in your throat. You're welcome. Literally, no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> literally, you can get dick bacteria in your throat. And I'll give you a sore throat and if you have strep. And it's not an STD, it just means he needs to take a shower. 
clean clean it up a little bit. Yeah, like clean your balls. So basically, before, yeah, like, bad cock. I do you say cock when you're fucking Randy? Please say, say no. I don't say any body part when I'm having sex. Do you say anything? Yeah. Okay, good. That feels good. Or you feel so good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, it freaks me. I feel like I'm with the serial killer if they don't say anything. I'm like, they don't say anything till. Or you tell them that's the spot right there, right there. And then they stop. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Or when you guide them, like you, if something feels good and you guide them, and then they're doing it well, and then they changed it back to what they. I was like, I just corrected. So what should you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand that. I really don't. Nothing is worse than bad sex. Let's talk about bad sex. Let's make that a category. Bad first. sex. There we go. I've had it recently. Oh. <laughs> Two minutes. It was three. It was three on the first that's time. Nice of you to give him a little, a minute. An extra, extra minute. Yeah, that's, that's and we nice. actually apologized after, and then in the morning we went for a second round. I texted my roommate at ten fifty one in the morning. I said headphones. About three minutes later, we started. And before 11 a.m., I texted my roommate and I said, we're done. And he said, wow, a whole six minutes minus the three that took us to start. And I'm telling you, ladies, in a total of nine minutes between two different sexcapades, we did not get what we wanted. And I sucked his dick and he didn't even finger me. He didn't even, like, DJ the clit. I'm like, uh... So that's a wrap on episode six. And Randy's in the background cracking up. This video is short and sweet, just like how you guys like it, and just like my last sex, because it was short. Let's leave out the sweet. Just short. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but as I always say, if you're giving it a thumbs down, you probably shouldn't be on this channel. But if you are gonna be here, hit that bell, because if you don't hit that bell, you don't get notifications. Follow Randy on Instagram, Rad Cheaper, and his OnlyFans, Rad Cheaper. Just go on my link. Just go link in bio. Follow me on Instagram, XXO Danielle, Swallowed Podcast, the official Victor Twins, and Little Caesar the Frenchie. You probably heard him snoring in this video. My hair needs to be brushed. I don't give a fuck. That rhymes. I should be a rapper. Like half of America. Um, follow my OnlyFans or subscribe, OnlyFans.com slash XXO Danielle. And I love you guys to the moon and back. Peace out. I just got my nails done. They look so cute. Love you guys. Don't Was have that bad sex. 20 minutes?